really need to get glasses that don't have a glare. <sighs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different because I've been filming all of my Halloween videos and I wanted to give my face a break. Just because there's so many things that include glitter and paint and glues and everything. I just needed to give it a rest. So today I wanted to do a video that is kind of in a different style than I normally do. So recently from the Fine Brothers React channel, found the channel The Odd Ones Out, which is, I think his name is James, but I was talking to Hannah about that channel earlier today, yesterday, whatever time of day it is now, but she actually recommended his friend Jaden to me because she's really awkward and has a lot of anxiety, which surprised me too. So I actually binge watched like almost every video that she has because now I'm obsessed. So I was watching all of her videos and I found one which I believe is called Lies I Believed for Way Too Long or something to that effect, but I will link it down below for you so you can watch that too. And I decided that would be a fun video to do just because I was kind of dumb as a kid slash adult slash I am still dumb. I also wanted to make this video because I actually have been wanting to do story time videos for a while, which I don't know if anybody's interested in any of those, but uh, my family has five kids in it, so there were some pretty interesting stories as well as being a stupid teenager. If you want any story time videos though, let me know down below or whatever and I'll have to figure some of them out. So I have a list of five lies that I was told or thought up as a child and I'm going to tell them to you now. So my first one is <laughs> really embarrassing actually. If you are under the age of like 12 or something, skip ahead to this time code here because I'm about to drop some knowledge on you. <laughs> I don't want to ruin anybody's childhood. That's not my job. I don't know why I didn't give up on the idea for so long, but I believed in Santa until I think I was like 13. Like 13 or 14 and my parents had to tell me, like my mom had to pull me aside and tell me <laughs> that he wasn't real. That being said, I wrote letters to Santa until I was very much not a child anymore. I, yeah, I just, they told me Santa was real and I ran with it for a long time. Like I'm pretty sure, let's see I was 13 so Hannah would have been 11 and Brandon would have been 9. I'm pretty sure they had both figured it out before I did. Number two was my mom's fault. And this one, this one was like a long running thing for like years and years and years and years and apparently a lot of parents told their children this and I didn't realize that they had apparently formed some sort of parent alliance and decided that this was going to be what they told us but my mom told me when we were kids that having the dome light on in the car while she was driving was illegal and I just recently I'm 26 and I found this out maybe two months ago that that's not true. She told us that because it makes it harder for her to see in the dark, apparently. I have driven with my dome light on and it doesn't bother me, so maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that was not illegal, mom, so. Okay, so number three, I have no idea where I got this for the longest time. Okay, so you know on an apple how on the top there's the stem and the bottom it's like a weird like butt. I don't know how else to describe it like the weird apple butt part. I was convinced, absolutely convinced, that the little like stemmy part of the apple butt, I don't, it's so hard to describe. I don't know who, if anybody told me this or I just told myself this because I'm crazy but I was absolutely convinced that that part of the apple was poison 
and you couldn't eat that part. You could eat any other part except for obviously the core and then the apple butt. <laughs> Last two were actually my grandma's fault. <laughs> So this was my dad's mom. My older sister can probably attest to this. The other two were probably a little too young. No, no, I remember Hannah told me actually. She's the one just younger than me. She's the one that had nightmares or was like freaking out about one of these. The first one was my grandma was really superstitious. I'm not sure if it's just because she didn't want us to put our dirty shoes everywhere all over the house, but she told us as children mind you. Hannah remembers this so she had to be between one and three which means my oldest sister would be between five and seven. Wow. Oldest anybody was at this point was seven. My grandma told a gaggle of children that putting your shoes on the table or counter means that somebody in your family would die. <laughs> which is a charming little superstition to tell children and I for whatever reason still I okay I don't think it's true anymore so much but there's always that little like voice in the back of my head that's like don't do it or somebody will die somebody you know will die if you put your shoes on that counter I know it doesn't seem like that kind of situation would come up often but working in theater and everything we have cabinets shelf things. So when people put their costumes or their actual clothes while they're wearing their costumes on the counter, sometimes they just throw their shoes on top. Which kind of makes sense, but also freaks me out. Sometimes when you're packing, like I've packed to go on trips and you'll just throw your shoes on top of the table because you're like, oh, I can't forget these here. Throw them there. It doesn't seem like it comes up often, but it comes up often enough. And the last one, which is probably the most ridiculous one, but also came from the same grandma. The final lie that I believed for way too long. I don't know how it came up, but I remember Hannah saying that she had like a panic attack about it, but I think it was my brother. He was like poking at his belly button or something. And my grandma told him and the rest of us that if you play with your belly button too much, it will unravel and you will deflate around the room like a balloon does when you let go. Which, depending on how you think about it, would either be really funny or really disgusting or maybe both. I obviously believed it because she was my grandma and why would she lie to me? <laughs> Found out that just isn't possible. It's medically impossible for you to untie your own belly button, which, thank god. Uh. So those were a few little tidbit story things, lies that I believed as a child. I'm sure there's several more. If you guys want story time videos or any more of these videos, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see those. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave any fun stories or lies you were told as a child down below. I would love to read them. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see any of my Halloween videos coming up. I am trying so hard to do a video every day this Halloween. At very least I'm going to do every other day but I have 31 planned and I have a bunch already filmed and ready to edit and then I have a bunch of props that I have to finish getting made and costumes that need to be finished being made and pieced together. But we're so close! So close! There's only... what's today? The 8th? Yeah! So only 22 days until my first Halloween video which I'm so excited for. If you haven't been following me on any of my social media, you can follow me there for little behind the scenes previews. I posted one of my props that I made actually the other day. So you can find it pretty much on any social media I'm at. I would also like to thank Jaden Animations for making her video of all the lies that she believed for too long and inspiring me to make my own. And also to thank my sister for showing me Jaden's channel. That is all for today and I will see you guys in the next one. <coughs> Well, <clears throat> well, that's what I get for not making a script. I keep losing my voice. I would also like to thank Jane Anima.